For 35 years, Jay Bartlett has rescued souls in more than 75 nations on six continents, reaching millions with the love and power of God. The dead has been raised, demons cast out, the sick cured, the broken-hearted healed. Stay tuned to one of the world's most astounding podcasts. Deliverance with Jay Bartlett is next. Live. Worldwide. Deliverance. With your host, Jay Bartlett. For the next few minutes, Jay will be exploring the unknown, the strange, and the supernatural. Ready or not, you are about to experience deliverance. In 1791, Haiti was given over to Satan during a voodoo ceremony that included killing, slaughtering a pig. Ever since the shedding of that pig's blood on that August evening in 1791, spiritual darkness has gripped the nation of Haiti, this nation of nine plus million plunge them into spiritual darkness voodoo black magic and occultism control haiti and much of the country lies in deep satanic bondage i should know i've traveled to this island nation a number of times and have ministered there in many different cities throughout this island nation Not that long ago, Haiti's former president essentially endorsed voodoo as a valid religion when he decreed an ancestral religion. Voodoo is an essential part of national identity. And its institutions represent a considerable portion of Haiti's people. Haiti is controlled by demonic powers. But Haiti's not alone. The Bible actually says the whole world is under the sway of the evil one. Some nations more so than others. But from the top down, voodoo prevails in nearly every sector of life in Haiti. But don't think Haiti's alone, my friends. I think much of the demonic activity that controls Haiti is also controlling the United States of America. You know, voodoo, black magic, These satanic alternative movements have allowed countless evil spirits the spiritual right to the land of Haiti and to many other lands. Millions upon millions are a result or controlled to one degree or another by these dark forces. I believe the solution to this demonic domination in Haiti and and, and lands around the world is the strong public proclamation of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. A strong public proclamation of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we might see souls be transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the sun, as Colossians 1 tells us. Only then will these voodoo-infested nations like Haiti And I dare say the United States of America, voodoo is prevalent all throughout this land. I've traveled throughout America for 35 years in the gospel ministry. America is not immune, my friends. Just as Haiti is a hotbed of demonic supernaturalism, America is too. The solution is the strong, compelling public proclamation of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. 
for it is the power of God unto salvation. You want to transfer people from Satan's bondages to freedom? Preach the gospel. Introducing people to Jesus Christ, just as I am today on deliverance. I'm Jay Barton. I'll be here for the next few minutes exploring the unknown, the strange, and the supernatural. Ready or not, you're about to experience deliverance, my friends. God has bestowed upon this global mission an extraordinary ability to gently guide individuals into the heavenly realms where thousands are encountering the risen Jesus and experiencing numerous heavenly wonders. We have, perhaps, created the world's largest video collection of testimonies of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the joys, the wonders, and the glories of God's heavens. These thrilling videos from around the world demonstrate that God loves and cares for us. Taste of His powers at jbartlettmissions.com Heavenly experiences are for real. Watch and see at jbartlettmissions.com The Bible's so clear. Very, very clear, my friends. In Colossians 1, I referred to this scripture just before the break. God has delivered us. This is Colossians 1.13. God has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. That's the only power that's going to be able to break the chains, the shackles of voodoo in Haiti, in America, and around the world. You know, and by the way, welcome back to Deliverance. I'm Jay Bartle. Thank you for just taking a few moments to be with us as we speak about exorcism in Haiti, confronting voodoo, black magic and the occultism that we find prevalent not only in Haiti, but throughout America. I'm, I'm highlighting Haiti because it's, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a hotbed of demonic supernaturalism, such as America, but much of what's taking place in terms of the voodoo in America is coming from the islands of the sea, coming from Haiti. And Haiti is a beautiful, the people are beautiful. I love visiting Haiti, actually, and ministering there and have done so on many occasions. Spoken to thousands and upon thousands of people. In fact, some of our largest evangelistic meetings have occurred on the island nation of Haiti. The people are beautiful, but the, the alternative spiritual movements and religions that you find on that island nation of Haiti is dark. And it holds millions upon millions of people in captivity. And I'm targeting where much of these demons are coming from, from Haiti, because it was dedicated back in 1790, 1791. Haiti was given over to Satan. You know, many years I sought to, to bring the proclamation of the gospel. And to cast out demons in Haiti. You know, I was, in, I, I was always intrigued and fascinated by this island nation, its culture. I wanted to see this nation experience the power of God. I wanted to confront the people, the beautiful Haitian people, with the love of Jesus Christ and the power of God. The liberation of, that Christ brings to the captives. You know, God answered my prayers. And I had the opportunity to travel to Haiti to experience firsthand the power of God versus the power of Satan. My first night, my very first night in Haiti was eventful. I arrived in the highly dense capital city of Port-au-Prince late one February afternoon with a heart grateful for the opportunity to minister in this poverty-stricken land. I just spent a couple nights in the capital before taking that journey on to Thomasique for some meetings. While in Port-au-Prince, I did some street evangelistic work, but encountered something very, very bizarre. While sharing the gospel via translator, some of the children who wanted to receive Christ had, I'm speaking about the little kids, had great difficulty saying the name of Jesus. In fact, in one instance, a young boy said he, he could not say Jesus. Something 
or should I say someone, was preventing him from saying Jesus. That someone was Satan. And many of the inhabitants of this city, Port-au-Prince, are under the sway of the evil one. Not that long ago, our contact in Haiti was a special guest of mine on my worldwide radio broadcast. And he shared how many of the Haitian population was indwelt early on by voodoo powers. No wonder that young boy I was speaking with on the street was having great difficulty praying with me. He was demonized. And a spirit, an evil spirit, kept him from saying the name of Jesus. Knowing I was dealing with a, a possible demon, I rebuked it. And the young boy was able to pray with me. And he was able to receive Jesus Christ into his life. My friends, while, while in Thomasique, in the city of Thomasique, not too far from the border of Dominican Republic, I encountered once again this demonization. I noticed a group of young children who were assembled outside a, a voodoo gathering where the voodoo worshipers were gathered, beating their ceremonial drums, entering in various degrees of spirit possession, I walked right up to their meeting and began to pray. And as I did, a young boy started to walk my way. My heart was deeply grieved. As I could tell, a spirit was in control of this little Haitian child. Just one look into his eyes was all that was needed. The dark. Evil glare was quite intense. I actually saw the evil demon peer through his eyes, attempting to stare me down. I simply prayed that the love of Jesus Christ would penetrate the boy's heart and deliver the child from the dark voodoo power that controlled him. I also asked God to bring these practitioners of voodoo to our nightly gospel meetings. God brought this desire to pass, and I witnessed a dream fulfilled. You know, several weeks prior to arriving into Haiti, I dreamt of a young girl being delivered from demons. I had shared the vivid dream with a very close friend, you know, a few close friends and family, but didn't think anything of it until that last night of our public meetings we were holding in Thomasique. Thousands upon thousands were hearing of the great miracles of God, that God was doing each night and and on the third night, the dream that I had several weeks earlier came to pass. The dream that I had in the United States came to pass. The crowd was assembling in the public square and there was expectancy in the air. The devil, however, was also at work. As our, con as our contact pointed out, quote, on the third day, the enemy waged a battle against us. We could sense the tension in the atmosphere. About a dozen guys who were dressed in red robes and wearing masks did all they could to prevent the meeting from taking place. At a certain point, we bowed our heads and prayed to ask God to intervene to give us the freedom to preach the gospel in this land of darkness. Suddenly, there was a sense of peace. The voodoo practitioners took off their mask and joined the crowd. The result was phenomenal, close quote. My friends, the gospel was preached. The gospel, the power, the only power, the power of the cross, the power of the shed blood of Jesus Christ, of the Messiah, the power of the burial, the power of the resurrection, Jesus conquering death, the power of the coming, second coming of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, as the King of kings and the Lord of lords was proclaimed. The voodoo priest attended and my dream came to pass and there was deliverance in Haiti. I mean, my friends, the spiritual results were simply off the charts. Were simply off the charts. It was estimated by some that there were more than four or 5,000 attended the last meeting. One could see people in the streets, on the sidewalks, on the top of, of cars, cramming in to hear the gospel preached. Thousands streamed forward as we asked those attending to make commitments to Jesus Christ. I then prayed over the masses, asking God to del deliver those held by the power of voodoo. And as I did, demons started manifesting in a woman that was attending the meetings. She had gone into some very violent convulsions and was withering on the ground. I asked a few of the pastors to bring the young lady up to the platform. Now, it, it took a small group of believers to restrain her. The demons within this young Haitian lady were vile, blasphemous violent 
as we battled them for, I don't know, half an hour or so. But God prevailed as the demons were cast out and she was set free. You know, that night in Haiti, battling the powers of voodoo, the powers of black magic, the powers of the occult, some estimate more than 2,500 received liberation from voodoo powers on that night. Now, after the meeting, my contact and I, along with a half a dozen other believers, made our trip to this young lady's house. Upon my arrival, I informed, I was informed that this young girl's father was one of the most powerful voodoo priests in the area. I mean, it was remarkable to see God overcoming the power of voodoo. This young lady that was delivered introduced her mother, who was gracious in allowing us to, on her property to share the love of Jesus with her. The mother was quite distressed as she recalled a few nights when Satan appeared to her on her property. She was frightened by these appearances. So the other Haitian believers and I, we, we joined in prayer along with my contact, and we shared the gospel, shared with her the gospel, the only power there is able to deliver somebody from voodoo, and testified her, her daughter's deliverance from demons just an hour earlier at the public square. While the others shared, my contact leaned over next to me and whispered, Jay, this young lady was the lady in your dream. He was right. I was completely stunned. I mean, he was right. I had shared my dream with my contact, and he recognized the connection between the young lady being delivered and my, and my dream of the exorcism. To top off all these blessings, I had the wonderful honor to lead her mother to Jesus Christ and pray over that home. Though the government endorses in Haiti, promotes, endorses voodoo, millions are thus entangled in Satan's web. But I'm here to tell you, Jesus is still delivering. Jesus Christ is still Lord over that land and over every land where the powers of voodoo, black magic, the, the occult, or any alternative spiritual movement may be residing. Jesus Christ is still Lord. And he's still delivering the beautiful people of Haiti, the beautiful people here in America and around the world where the voodoo flourishes where the voodoo is practiced jesus is able to set you free just as he he's done he did that those nights in thomas seek and many other events that we've held throughout the years in haiti and many other places where we have visited where voodoo is prominent in west africa and the countries have been in togo nigeria ghana many other places I've traveled to here in the United States, in Florida, in New Orleans, Louisiana. We've confronted the powers of voodoo, and voodoo has bowed to Jesus Christ, and I'm going to pray for you to be set free from voodoo curses. I'll be right back after this brief intermission. are listening to another thrilling edition of Deliverance with Jay Bartlett. These compelling podcasts are transformative, astounding, and inspiring. Lives are being encouraged, empowered, healed, restored, and liberated. Take a moment and support this global mission with a donation at jbartlettmissions.com. Visit the donate page and consider giving a recurring monthly donation. That's jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877 483 5519. Thank you for your support to keep this worldwide mission alive. Well, Jesus is able to rescue. Welcome back to Deliverance. I'm Jay Bartlett. Thank you for taking a few moments. I'm here to tell you God loves you. And God wants to set you free from voodoo. Perhaps you have voodoo in your bloodline. Perhaps voodoo, you have performed voodoo rituals or have participated in voodoo curses and spells and ceremonies. Perhaps you're connected with somebody who indulges in voodoo, black magic, the occult. 
this episode, this presentation, this podcast wasn't meant to be a intensive exploration of these various religions or movements. It's to tell you, it's just simply to convey to you that God is able because he has obviously greater power than the powers of Satan. Our God is the creator of the heavens and the earth, along with his son and the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is able to rescue you. Jesus once said in John 6, he who comes to me, I'll by no means cast aside, cast away. If you come to Jesus Christ who loves you, he will rescue you and he will deliver you from voodoo. Perhaps you're not connected to voodoo, but do you have witchcraft? Are you being victimized by the powers of witchcraft, voodoo, witchcraft, the occult, powers of darkness? I know the answer. It's Jesus. It's Jesus Christ. God demonstrated his love in that while you were yet a sinner, Christ died for us and he's able to rescue you. You'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. Jesus says, I am the, the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God except through me. I want you to pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Rescue me. Save me. I repent of my sins. I re renounce the devil. I renounce the curses. I renounce the ancestral generational bondages in my bloodline. And I submit to the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I place my life, my sins under the blood. Cleanse me, Jesus Christ. I believe in your death on the cross. I believe in the power of your resurrection. I surrender all to you today in Jesus name and I command every evil spirit of voodoo I command every evil spirit of witchcraft and the occult to leave those who are listening to this podcast now come out in the authority of Jesus Christ leave never come back again leave in the name of Jesus Christ come out of the mind and the heart the body of those who are listening to this podcast right now come out in the authority of Jesus Christ now God, Holy Spirit, I ask that you just fill all the empty spaces with your love, your peace, your power, your presence. I commit my friends into your loving hands. In Jesus' name. It's been a powerful podcast. Speaking of the superior powers of Jesus Christ over the powers of voodoo. I bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been a production of the Good News Podcasting Network, based in sunny Southern California. Feel free to contact for more information on the Deliverance Podcast at jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877-483-5519.